Hi, a little bit of back garden bushcraft today. I'm going to show you how to make sulphur matches or spunks. Reading about them, it's hard to know where they come from because some say the Romans invented them and some articles say that the Chinese invented them. But basically, it's a spill or a match that you put on a heat source, the sulphur reacts, lights the wood underneath, and then you can use it to light a fire without having to go through the rigmarole of using something like a tinder bundle. Very easy to make, and I'll show you how. So I've got three finished spills that I made on another session here and that's literally all they are. I'm using coffee stirrers here which are a convenient sized stick and then they just tip with sulphur. So here's what you'll need. Here's the coffee stirrers that have been cut to either a chisel point or a point. You've got a coke can there that's been cut down to accept that tea light in there. The screw in there is so I can pull it in and out. That's your matches to light it and that's your sulphur that's going to go in there and be melted. Just one word here, you need to do this in a well ventilated space because it will generate sulphur dioxide. So there we go, just pop a little bit in there. You don't need much and this stuff is actually very cheap to buy. That'll more than do us. There we go, it's got that lip. We'll just slide it under there. So there we go, it's melted. And what I've actually done is put the tea light on another tea light rather than cutting the cam down because it was taking a little while. So then you just dip the end in like that and then you just pop them somewhere to dry. And here's a more natural version. This is ornamental birch bark wrapped up tightly with the sulphur on the end. And of course, once the sulphur takes, the volatile oils in the birch bark take over. So it does burn quite quickly. Right, so in this demonstration, I've got a Kelly Kettle ember pan here and I've got some char cloth in here that I've lit and put in an unused splint. So what you do is your heat source, you just put the sulphur match in there and it's just a waiting game really. These coffee stirrers are superb for this because once the sulphur powder actually lights the splint is nice and thin for it to make into a flame. It's slowly starting to bubble. And then what happens is it turns a darker colour, like a sort of orange tan colour, and then hopefully after that we'll get some flame. Yeah, it's turning orange quite rapidly now. And there we go, there's your flame. Just remember, even when lighting the matches, they can give off noxious fumes. And just to finish with, I did a blog about two years previous to this video and in that I experimented with also adding things like magnesium and iron filings and feathering the sticks. It's worth just having a look at that just to see how I got on with the experimentation. I'll put a link to that in the notes 